This is a Yealink T46S phone overview. On this phone, you have your handset, your line keys that go down each side of your screen, soft keys, which are underneath the screen, your dial pad, navigational directional arrows, volume rocker for volume up and down, headset, enter and hang up button, mute, your voicemail message button, your live hold button, your redial, transfer, and speakerphone buttons. Also, you can have line keys set up on your phone to monitor if somebody is on the phone or monitor call park slots. With this phone, you can have three pages of additional line keys. If you press the 10th button down, you can see it is on number one. You press the line key, it'll go to number two to change the screen, and number three to change the screen once again to access additional line keys. To place a call, simply dial the extension number or phone number, and you can either pick up the handset, hit send, headset, or speakerphone to place that call. To answer an incoming call, simply lift the handset. You can press the answer button on the soft key to answer on speakerphone. Pick up on the headset by pressing the headset button, or pick up on the speakerphone by pressing the speakerphone button. Once you answer on the speakerphone button, you'll notice that there are additional soft key options underneath the screen. Once you're on a phone call, if you wish to do an attended transfer to where you can talk to the party that you're transferring to first, press the transfer button and dial the extension. Once that party answers, you press transfer one more time. If you wish to do a blind transfer, which is a transfer type that you can do to send a call to another extension to where you don't have to actually talk to the caller first. It just goes to their phone. If they're there, they will pick it up. If they're not, it will go to their voicemail. So to do that blind transfer, you hit the three dots and then you hit BXFER, which stands for blind transfer. You will dial the phone number or the extension number that you wish to send that call to and click OK. That call will now be sent to the other extension or phone number. To perform a conference call, when you have one call already on the line and you want to conference someone else in, you simply just need to press the conference button, dial the extension number, or the phone number of the other party that you wish to actually conference in, and hit the send button. Once that other party answers the phone, you will be able to actually conference them together by hitting the conference button one additional time. Once they are conferenced together, you will have options to split the phone calls back out into their individual holds, place the whole conference call on hold. You can manage the call by muting or placing one of the callers on hold. You can remove a participant or go back. To end the whole conference call, just press end call. Now we'll go over call parking. Call parking is a feature where you can place a caller on hold for another extension or another person to, in your company to pick up the caller. To do this, once you have a live call on the phone, you will have to hit the three dots and then click park. Call parked on extension 901. The phone announces which extension the caller is parked on. If you have call park slots on your screen, your line key will light up red indicating it's parked on 901. To resume that call, simply press that line key or dial the extension number. By pressing that, you will pick up your live caller on another phone. Now we'll go over the call flip feature. The call flip feature will allow you to flip a phone call from your desk phone to your mobile app or desktop app on another device and continue the phone call. The caller will hear a brief hold music while it flips and you answer. That's a quick way to answer the phone while you're trying to walk out the door or coming back in the door while you're on your mobile app to flip back to your desk phone. This is how we do it. We hit the three dots. You'll have to hit the three dots one more time and choose the call flip feature. This will send the call to your mobile device's app, desktop app, or any other device you have registered on your account. We'll see how to use the company directory and the history by using the navigational keypad. If you press the up arrow, this will also let you see the all calls on the phone, miss calls, place calls, and give you other options. You can scroll up and down using the navigational keypads and press the OK button or send button to place that call. If you wish to just go back on any screen, press the X button and that will take you back to the home screen. If you press the down arrow, this will show you your local directory on the phone. You can click OK to see all the contacts 
At this time, you could click Send or OK to place the call. If you wish to add an existing contact, just click the Add button, fill in the information with your dial pad, and save. The phone also has a Do Not Disturb mode. You can activate Do Not Disturb by clicking the Do Not Disturb soft key. This will put a red minus sign at the top of your phone, indicating that your phone will no longer get phone calls as long as this minus sign is available. To disable Do Not Disturb, press the soft key once again. Your phone has a call forwarding option. In order to access this, go to Menu, use the navigational keypad to go over to Features, click OK, and then click OK on Call Forwarding. You now are presented with three options. Always Forward will forward phone calls to an extension or to a, another phone number in the event that you weren't at your desk or you're away for sickness or anything like that. You can always forward, and that way, anytime your phone or extension rings, it would go to someone else. You can do a busy forward to where if you're on the phone, it would forward automatically to another extension number or phone number, or a no answer forward to where if you did not answer, instead of going to voicemail, it would be forwarded. We will choose the Always Forward option at this time. Just click OK. You'll press over to select the on. You can scroll down and choose an extension number such as 828 or type in any outside phone number. Once you're done, be sure to click Save. Once this is saved, this phone will always forward to extension 828. To go back to the home screen, just press the X button until you see the home screen. If you come back to your phone and you wish to undo the call forwarding, it's the same process in reverse. Simply click the menu soft key, over arrow for features, OK, OK on call forwarding, and you can see always forward is turned on. Click OK one more time, press the over arrow to turn it off, and click the save button, and now your call forwarding is now disabled. Press the X button several times to go back to the home screen. There are several options for voicemail on this system. You can check your voicemail directly from your phone by clicking the message button, dialing your PIN number, and hitting pound. Once you do this, you can actually follow the prompts to continue through the voicemail system. You can also change your greeting and other options at that time. You also have the option to get your voicemails transcribed and sent to you in your email as well. If you need help resetting your PIN number, or you need help changing the email address in which your voicemails go to, please contact our support. The Yealink T46S supports Bluetooth with an additional dongle that you can purchase and plug into the back of this phone in the USB port. If you've already got this device and you've plugged it in, you can go to Menu, scroll over and down to Basic, scroll down to option 6, which is Bluetooth, and click OK. And if your Bluetooth is off, you can click here and turn it on. If it's already on, you can click Scan, and it will search for the device in the set up in the pairing mode. Once it finds the device, you can click connect, and the device will start to connect. You will see that it's connected and indicated with a green check. And to return to the main menu, you just click X several times. And now you can use the headset button to place and receive calls. Bluetooth is also indicated by the Bluetooth icon at the top of the screen that you can see when the Bluetooth device is active. This phone also supports Wi-Fi with an additional Wi-Fi USB dongle. You cannot use the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi at the same time as this phone only has one USB port. So in order to use the Wi-Fi, if you've already plugged the dongle in, you press Menu, press over and down to Basic, OK, scroll all the way down to Option 7 for Wi-Fi, click OK, and you can see the Wi-Fi status is off. We will press the over arrow to turn this on and save to change the settings. Once it saves, you'll see that the phone is currently scanning for available networks. In this instance, it found non-available networks on option 5. We will scroll down to option 5, click OK, and it will show you all the additional networks it found. If you scroll down to the Wi-Fi network that you desire to connect to and click Connect, you can then type in your password and connect to this network. Once the phone is connected to the wireless network, you'll be able to continue to use the phone anywhere that you have power plug plugged into the phone and you have very good Wi-Fi signal. It's recommended that you use a network cable whenever possible because Wi-Fi is not as stable as a hardwired connection. Now if you look at the back side of the phone, in order to plug in the Wi-Fi or the Bluetooth dongle, it would plug in the USB port here. Also this phone has two slots, the top two or the bottom two, that would allow you to adjust the stand to sit the phone up further or lean it back further. On the back side of the phone we have our extension, which is the expansion module 
to have the sidecar. We have a network port labeled PC, which would go to your computer or a printer or other device. We have one labeled internet. The internet one would be the cable that goes from the phone to the wall to give this phone internet. We have the DC power plug port. If your switch is not PoE powered in the phone, you can use the included wall plug in order to power the phone. We have a headset plug that you can plug in a wired or wireless headset to this location to operate with a headset button on the front of the phone. Then we also have the handset or receiver to where we plug that in in order to actually pick up and answer the phone with the receiver included with the phone. The T46S phone can also take an expansion module. This plugs into the phone and allows you to have more line keys. You can have 10 line keys per side for a total of 20, and you have the over arrows to page over to an additional page for a total of 40 line keys. This allows a receptionist to be able to have more line keys to indicate who's on the phone for line presence, whether they're on the phone or not. Or you can have speed dials to send people to voicemail or have vendors or anything that you wish on these quick dial buttons for transfers or for just outside calling. 